The 13-year-old girl from Homa Bay who was reported to have been raped a week ago and her genitals removed was Friday brought to Nairobi Women Hospital for constructive surgery. The girl had since been admitted at Homa Bay County Referral Hospital, but her condition worsened, prompting the State Department of Gender and Social Services to intervene and come to her rescue. Homa Bay Women Rep Gladys Wanga and Rachel Shebesh, who were at the hospital, called for more serious action against the perpetrators of gender-based violence in the country. There is definite evidence that uh, somebody used a sharp object to cut her after or before the defilement on her genitals. So um, the doctors are working around the clock. We'll be taking her to theater and we'll be doing reconstructive surgery. That ban on Discomatanga, it should be countrywide mm. so that our children, because these young girls, they go to Discomatanga at night and that is where they are found. The story of mercy repeats itself daily, continuously in this country. And as much as we do not like to expose victims of sexual abuse or harassment or even gender violence, sometimes it takes us to use an example to show you the frustration. One of our biggest uh, disappointments is that every police station is supposed to have a gender desk where anybody violated, especially women and children, can report and can be taken to a safe space. Today, you will find that in police stations where there was a gender desk officer who was trained, they were transferred immediately after their training. So therefore, again, whoever is brought on the gender desk is that who is being punished. So police officers who are not doing a good job who are drinking too much at work, they are taken to sit at the gender desk.